Well, hey everybody, we're back with another video. Due to the fact that it's one of the bigger videos on my channel, the Pico de Gallo video for uh, Chipotle, today we're doing Chipotle's guacamole. And then I'm gonna show you how, what I do to make it better, because theirs is good, but it's missing one ingredient. Let's get into it. So first things we're going over, let's take a gander at it. A bunch of cilantro, one bunch, one whole lime, one red onion, four Haas avocados. They're uh, slightly smushy. You don't want them to be too smushy, you don't want them to feel hollow, but you also don't want them to be rock hard. And we have some salt, and that's pretty much all that goes into Chipotle's guacamole. I've done research, I've looked this up. There was a guy in my last video who said, don't cut the root off, there's no point in cutting the root. So we're gonna try his method, and if he's wrong, then I'm gonna call him out in the comment section. The stem off, cause it's dumb. Do it like that. I guess it's gonna hold it together. Let's get this dusty layer off. Slice her down like this, do one more. So, dice, well, slicing and then dicing. You know what? I think that guy in the comments was absolutely correct because that was way easier and it wasn't slipping around. So he was not wrong. Onions cut up, they're done. Get yourselves one of these bench scraper. You can then just add all this stuff. The cilantro, I cut all the ends off of it because they're not necessary. And then I just kind of like bunch them together, hold the knife, and then I just start chopping. And then bunch it up again, and just hit it the other direction. And then you just keep chopping it up until it's small enough, or big enough, whatever, it's your, it's your guacamole. All right, I think our cilantro is good to go. All right, next up we got our avocados. Very easy, I'll show you how to do it. Just take them, put your knife up against it, you don't have to be too crazy. Slice it and just roll the avocado around until it's sliced all the way through. Take it, twist it, comes right off. And it's beautiful. This is where people cut themselves because they're dumb. You don't have to swing so hard on this that your arm comes up here to cut it. That's dumb. Just take it, just like that, twist it, it's out. I saw a TikTok way of doing that. What's that? Just squeezing it out. These little seeds, they're real slippery. You try and pull it off the knife, you're gonna end up cutting yourself. So we're gonna try this TikTok way, because I hate TikTok. Let's go. Twist it. God damn it. TikTok was right. Look at that. You learn something new every day. Now that you've de pitted all of your avocados, take a spoon, right? Go on the edge here and just scoop it out. It comes out real easy. Boom, done. Throw them into your onions and cilantro. I can only imagine the actual like Chipotle worker that has to do this with a thousand avocados a day. See, that took like two seconds. Football season's coming up, you guys. This is this is the time. Next up, juice of one lime. Do the whole roll technique. This breaks up all the the fibers in there to get the juice flowing. Cut that some bee in half. Be smart and use one of these. When you put lime juice or any kind of citrus juice onto the avocados, it stops it from browning. A little bit of salt. We're gonna salt it before we smash it up, and then we'll season it as we go, as we taste it. So I'm just using the back of a spoon. Just, I spin the bowl, you know? Get this going. And then once the avocados are smashed up, you could just start mixing it, getting all those flavors mixed up together. And there you have it. Chipotle's guacamole. Done. Easy. All right, it's time to taste it. Let's go. Tostito scoop. This is preposterous. Something's missing. I am an idiot. After all of that and then tasting, I realized I'm an idiot and I didn't put the jalapeno in there. It's a big deal. What is wrong with me? We're gonna chop up a jalapeno. This is how you do it. Cut the stem off. It Cut this in half the long ways, hot dog style, if you will. You can cut the membrane out and the seeds, but I don't care, it doesn't matter to me. A lot of recipes call for one half of a jalapeno. I'm doing a whole jalapeno because I like it. It tastes better, it's hot, it's delicious. I'm gonna slice them up into match sticks. Flip them, boom. And then you can even go back through it like this if you really want to. Make it even smaller. Look at that. 
looks fantastic. It's easy, it's delicious. You can put it on your food, eat it with chips. Everyone's happy, so that's how you make it. Now, before it's over, I'm gonna show you what you should do that I think they're lacking on. It is tomatoes, okay? Let's go. It's tomatoes. You need tomatoes in guacamole, in my opinion. Not that one. But yes, tomatoes, and I'm gonna put the four Roma tomatoes in because it's needed, you guys, come on. I did this in my last video, but this is how you cut them, all right? You cut them in half, flip that down, cut it again. Go ahead and take all these seeds, slice them all out. You take your tomato, hold it flat. You're gonna match stick them like so. Then flip them to the side like so, hold them steady, and just dice. Dice them. And then we go ahead and add this magic into the old guacamole. If you are to put tomatoes in your guacamole the way that I'm doing, make the guacamole first and then put the tomatoes in so then you can just stir it up rather than have the tomatoes and then smash the avocados because then you're smashing the tomatoes and then you, you have like crushed tomatoes and it'd be weird. You want whole tomato diced up pieces so that you can then just mix it up like this beautifully. It makes the guacamole that much better. 10 times better, guaranteed. Don't get me wrong, if you leave out the tomatoes, it still tastes great. You add the tomatoes, it tastes way better. Let me try another piece. It's so good. You got the sweet from the tomatoes. You got this, the salty. You got a little bit of that citrus from the lime. Everything's so good on top of a nice tortilla chip, on top of a chipotle bowl. But yes, that's it. There's chipotle's guacamole with a little bit of my insight on what should really be in it. But anyway, that's it. Try it out. Let me know if it's good or not. If you if you try this out, tell me, oh man, you messed up. You messed up cutting up your vegetables. I don't know. Man. Just, just comment to me. Comment to me. I want to know. I appreciate you. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. See ya.